No, nothing that they have shared with us just yet. They are telling us more about how these young women were found. We're told that they were found here with no clothes on. And right now, police are here still trying to just piece together what happened going through the scene. The medical examiner was here earlier. Uh, they just left a short while ago, but you can see it's still very active here because Session and Clark, this intersection here, is still blocked off. The overpass, the Broward overpass, which you see right here, is blocked as well because this investigation is far from over. This started just before 2 o'clock. Police say they got a call at 1.53 this morning um, because two witnesses were driving by and told them that they saw bodies here on the side of the road and called 911. Police wouldn't really tell us much about the victims. They do know that foul play uh, is suspected here and that there are two black women in their early to mid 20s. Earlier this morning, they also gave us an idea of how long these young women may have been here. Well, they're in, a, in an area where they would have been noticed. So uh, I think it was fairly recently since they've been, they've been, they've been left there. And so right now, police tell us they are still just processing the scene, taking pictures, looking for any evidence that they can find. Of course, the medical examiner uh, here earlier this morning just left a short while ago, but the process for them, they have taken the bodies and will do an autopsy as soon as they can to determine exactly how these two young women died. Reporting live this morning on the north side, Kamasi Aaron, Channel 4, the local station. No, investigators aren't really giving us any details like that. They say themselves they're not sure and won't be sure until the autopsy is complete. The medical examiner just left a short while ago, and I just want to show you what the scene looks like right now. This is on Sisson and Clark, uh, and this is where the young women's bodies were found. Uh, investigators were here all morning. They just left a short while ago, but they've been trying to figure out exactly how these two young women ended up here. Now, from what they tell us, it all started at 153 when patrol officers got here and um, they got a call from two people who were driving by this area and said that they saw bodies here and called 911. Um, police really wouldn't tell us much about the victims except that they are two black women in their um, late teens or early 20s and they told us the young women were probably in this area um, because they've been noticed so they believe that they've been here fairly recently and we also talked with officers about their investigation uh, right now we're, just, we're processing photographing uh, we're looking for any evidence that we can find and uh, gonna take it slow very steady and then uh, make contact with the medical examiner's office they'll come out and take the bodies and do autopsies and to make determinations from there. So the medical examiner has been out here uh, and has left. And so at this point, we're waiting to get the results of those autopsies to figure out exactly the cause of death for these two young women. Um, another thing the officers told us that they're planning to do is check missing persons records here in Duval County and surrounding counties to see if that could possibly lead to identifying uh, these young women. And another thing, now that the scene is clear, this roadway of Sisson and the overpass, the Broward Street overpass, everything is back open at this point. Reporting live in the north side, Kamasi Aaron, Channel 4, the local station.